When did the I crave attention kid go too far? Snuck vodka into state-mandated testing in a water bottle. She was sent home drunk off her ass and my entire class was banned from having water bottles in class for the rest of the year. My entire class was banned from having water bottles in class for the rest of the year. I never even used a water bottle, and I'd still hate that kid for it. He drank an entire bottle of vodka at lunch and was kicked out of school. An entire bottle? He didn't die first? No, from what I heard he threw up and was taken to the hospital. My niece and a friend of hers decided to chug half a 60 of vodka in an hour. Niece ended up in the hospital, sleeping unconscious for six hours. When her mom finally got her home, niece decided to run away, crying hysterically through the streets and refusing to get in my sister's car. Eventually she was lured back in with promises of food. Kids are stupid. Some kid shat on the fucking toilet seat. A week later he shat in the sink. I don't get why people liked him. As someone that worked as a bathroom janitor, I fucking hate people that do that type of shit. No one that does that cares or thinks about the cleanup. People that do that type of shit. People that shit like that FTFY. He was a jerk. I had a couple of pet goats and he would come over and bully them all the time. He'd poke them through the fence with sticks, throw rocks at them, spook them with loud noises, but he'd never go into the pen. He was too scared of them. He should have known better. He was 16. One day we're all inside and we hear this blood-curdling scream. In comes the kid, screaming at the top of his lungs. The goat. The goat is after me. Help. We turn to see the big billy goat staring at him through the sliding glass door. Every once in a while it'd headbutt the glass. Now this was a very docile animal. He'd have never hurt a fly, but he was out for that boy's blood. It turns out that the kid had been torturing the goat. He had him pinned up against the wall of the pen throwing rocks and sticks at its testicles to see if he could hit them. The goat came after him, scaled the fence, and chased him across three acres of land and into the house. The kid waited for two hours for the goat to go away, but it never did. Anytime he opened a door to try to sneak away, the goat was right there trying to attack him. Eventually the goat disappeared and the kid tried to sneak out a window feet first, and once again started screaming, because the goat was right there head butting his backside as he climbed out. It was absolutely liberating. Started angrily pumping weights when we were chilling at someone's house, threatened to shave his head, and then tore his shirt off of his body. Did he drink a monster? And was his name Kyle? Not OP, but it definitely sounds like Kyle Nonek behavior. She told the whole school that some dude got her pregnant with twins and that she had an abortion. She printed pictures of ultrasounds off the internet and put balloons on his locker on the twins' birthday. Jokes on her because she didn't cut the URL off one of the ultrasound pictures. That's next level of dumbness. A girl once punched herself in the gut at her little brother's B-Day party and threw up just so people would notice her. A teacher friend of mine told me once about a student she had who cut a hole in the pocket of his jeans so he could stick his dick through it and when the teacher wasn't looking he'd poke it out through the pocket and thrust it towards the girls in class. Finally one day she caught him in the act and he got either suspended or kicked out, either. There was this girl for a while that had this huge crush on me, and she didn't seem to realize that she had been a total jerk to me for most of my life, and that I really disliked her. Finally she decided to get my attention by stealing my $300 leather jacket and saying that she wouldn't give it back unless I went out with her. So I contacted her mom and told her that if she didn't intervene, then my parents were going to press charges. The day after she gave my jacket back, she sent me this long as text talking about how I hurt her so badly, and it would take a long time to earn back her trust. I replied with by saying I don't want you to trust me, I want you to leave me alone. And we haven't spoken since. Little brother is a few years younger than me. 
He used to come into my room to harass me all the time and my parents never allowed me to have a lock. He was around 10 when I started propping a piano stand under my doorknob to keep people out. I'm so sick of people saying it was a fire hazard. You'd use whatever you could too if your parents never knocked and your brother used to shoot you with airsoft guns. Little brother pushed the door and the piano stand was at the knob. I ignored it before all I heard was the loudest bang followed by a thud. I opened the door to see him laying on the floor, holding his face, and crying. Apparently, he decided that he could break down my door like in the movies by throwing himself against it after running from down the hall. But this dumbass didn't just throw his shoulder or kick it. He threw his entire body against it like a squirrel going for a tree. Arms and legs out, face fucking first. I got blamed for it, but it was worth it. Only time I ever laughed that hard at his expense again was when he tried to fart into my room and shat himself about two years later. Bitch put powdered laxatives in his friend's drinks, this was in sixth grade. A couple kids put a bunch of crushed up Adderall in a kid's soda at my school. The kid who drank it ended up having a series of seizures and having to spend some time in the hospital. That's fucked. Fucked a horse and took a video of it. Bragged to a couple other weirdos about the horse fucking, they sent themselves the video off his phone, and it went around the whole school. Enlisted right after graduation probably to escape horse fucker reputation. It would take more than one guy to fuck a horse. Allegedly. I was at my friend's house. I was bored and started playing Portal 2 on his Xbox. After a while my other friend's sister, who mind you treated attention like a drug, burst into the room and starts screaming at me like we were dating and in a fight. My friend was there too and just watched. Every time I would tell her to leave she would get louder. At which part were you at in Portal 2 when this happened? Beginning of Portal 2